afternoon, good evening, good morning. I've been uh, experimenting with my just relay solar charger because it's always sunny here in Wuhan. Always sunny at the moment, anyway. And I've got it set. It's a three volt. It's a three volt relay. And I've got 20 ohms of resistance going to it from the negative. And when the f flip, when the flip switches, when the switch flips, it turns the LED on. So now I know that the uh, the solar panel is disconnected from the capacitor, which is charging three volt, 120 UF, 120 F. And it seems to be working almost it's just a little bit over three volts it flips the switch and then the indicator LED turns on and it will drain the voltage back down again to a point and then it will switch off again and charge it again and obviously in an ideal world I would be like oh it's charged and then I would unplug the cap but there you go that's my automatic super simple solar charge controller for uh, three volts three volt super caps interesting huh i'd like to do introduce you to my simple solar charger which i've made using a three volt relay two 10 ohm resistors but it's 20 ohms in total a red led a three volt 20 120 farad capacitor and solar panel so we can see this is the schematic very simple we have the solar panel which is putting out about five volts and the solar panel positive is connected to go through a diode for protection just in case there's some reverse voltage we don't need it really but it's there just to keep people happy the, the solar panel plus is connected to the normally closed the NC of the relay the three volt relay and so you see it goes through the relay and because it's closed it's connected directly to the capacitor and charging the capacitor the negative of the solar panel is going straight to the capacitor negative as well so in that circuit there the solar panel is charging the capacitor straight up now when the capacitor reaches the three volts or around three volts just over three volts maybe because the voltage across the relays coil will trigger the relay to switch over to this side then you'll see what happens is is the positive of the solar panel is no longer connected to the capacitor it's no longer connected and now this side is connected and this creates a circuit from the positive of the capacitor to the LED to the negative of the of the capacitor which creates the LED circuit so the LED will turn on yeah when the capacitor reaches 3 volts it triggers the relay which switches this over to this side so the solar panel is no longer connected to the connected to the capacitor positive and so it won't be charging the capacitor anymore instead the capacitor turns on the red LED so you can see that the voltage has reached the trigger voltage of the relay which here is 3 volts and my capacitor is rated for pardon me 3 volts so then I know that my capacitor is charged approximately super simple hope it helps anybody it's a great idea all these components cost nothing basically that was like Nothing, 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 and nothing. You're talking maybe, I don't know, $10. The most expensive part is the, uh, the super cap, depending on what size capacity you want to use. Or even a battery, if you have a 3-volt battery, it's possible. By adjusting the resistance here, this is what's going to change the, the, the trigger voltage, or the, the point at which the relay triggers you could also use a different size relay i assume a 12 volt relay if you're doing a larger battery but yeah you definitely need to keep an eye on the resistor here 
and watch it as you're charging up the capacitor just to make sure you've got the right resistance here to trigger it. Don't let it go too high over its, its limit because that can be dangerous. So just make sure you are watching it for the first couple of times you do it to make sure that it's triggering at the voltage that you require. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Once you've found the right resistance to trigger your relay to charge your cap, it's not necessary to use the red LED as an indicator because then it should just continue to disconnect when it reaches the right voltage. If you leave the LED in the circuit, it will actually use the energy from the capacitor and remove the voltage back down to below 2 volts. And obviously this is not good, but it will charge up again back to 3 volts, but without the LED there, it will just switch and remain at the charged voltage a lot longer. So you can actually use the capacitor for whatever task you want to use it for later.